Alright, so... Merry Meet YouTubers. Um, so this is my first video, so I apologize for the crudeness. Please be kind in the comments. Never um, done this before. Ah, that's what I wanted. Just some light. There we go. Sorry about the on-camera adjustment. I don't know how to edit. <laughs> not yet all right so basically what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna teach you guys to make this is uh, i've been working on uh, my book of shadows my new one um so basically what this is it's an old book um i covered the outside um a while back with some um stuff from a lord of the rings uh map book um so what i'm doing is I'm, it's like an old um uh book on goals and dreams and stuff like that so it's like dream like what you want to do um it's not a witchy book. Um, so all the pages used to look like this uh, that I've already done. And I'm trying to make them look like this. Um, I did try some scrapbooking. It's going to make the book too thick if I do that. So I wanted them to look like parchment though. So this is what I'm doing here. Um, so I already started one here. So you can see how it goes. So this is kind of what you do. So the colors you need. Um, my mess over here that I'm <laughs> working on. And the colors you're going to need are, um, there we go. Um, apple barrel colors, um, satin cream acrylic. Um, this one is, um, Delta creativity, uh, cream coat, um, mudstone argyle. And then I had another one. Here it is. Uh, another uh, apple barrel uh, colors um, buttercup. Um, I really like this color. Um, it really helps make it look parchmenty. All right. So what you want to do first? See if I can do this. Sorry, I'm like moving the camera so bad. Maybe if I do it this way. Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know if I like that. I think I like that better. I'm just going to figure out how to hold it. Sorry, guys. Right, so basically, I want to get a regular, the lightest color, which is the cream coat. Of course, like, I've got dry stuff now. Of course. Hold on. Let's see if I can do this with my arm. Of course not. Hold on. Sorry, guys. I'm going to put you down. You can look at my ceiling. <laughs> I'll be what you're looking at. Okay. So I'm just going to stick that there and I'll stick my brush in it and make it easier. Okay. So basically, what you want to do, hello, sorry, what you want to do is you want to cover this whole page um, with this light color. Yeah, see, this is starting to get dry on me. Of course. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to do things one-handed. I have... Okay. So, see? You basically... And you want it kind of... Um, this is really weird to do. I don't know how you guys vlog. This is so strange. I have to hold my phone at, like, um, like a really weird angle. Um... I don't know why. Like even um I tried like an intro video and um it was so weird. I could like had to angle the phone um like Is it focusing? Jeez. Sorry about that poor focus quality. I don't like my phone. Might I point out. I absolutely hate. I get like the worst data. Like. I don't know what it is. I have unlimited data. But for some reason I can't send pictures. And I can't receive pictures. And I don't know why. I have 4G. It should be good. 
Oh, I'm going to have to fix that page underneath. That's okay. That happens usually. And it's easily fixable with just like the other two colors. So that's normal. This is so weird doing this through the screen. Like I want to look at it, but every time I look at it, I get you guys off frame. So now I have this sitting on a, like a pad. So that way I don't like a cushy pad. So that way I don't, um, um, make a mess of my surfaces. I'm kind of just, I have a really giant ottoman that I'm sitting on. Just like someone screwed up my page. Ugh. So aggravating. And uh, I don't want to ruin it. Okay. So as you get towards, you obviously made me okay. This isn't going to work. Okay, there we go. There. I figured out an angle. Ah, got it. Oh, I got it. Now I got it. It's weird because I look at the thing, the book, and then I look in the screen and it's like way smaller and it totally messes me up. <laughs> so what you want to do is you want to go across like this and you want to make it look like, and it doesn't matter if some of the words show through. But you want like straight lines all the way across. Um, I'm going to also pull off any extra paint bubbles. Okay. So the next, just going to move this uh, paint out of the way and get my other color out. So next, what you want to do, uh, Okay. I just totally opened that with my teeth. <laughs> my dentist would kill me. So even if no, even if you get a lot on the brush, it's okay because you can just put it in a few spots and you're like, oh my god, you ruined it, right? No. So then you just wanna rub it in. Because once it starts to get tacky, I mean there's even this is a little wet, but that's okay. You just you want to like blend it and then you just now this is one of the reasons why you use um three colors because the two colors isn't enough it's too light but what you need is that you need that really white light base coat and you need this yellowy because you want to have the two-tone like look to it. You want it to look like it's old paper. I mean, I could tea stain the pages, but that's kind of a pain. And you're not guaranteed that you're not going to like. You want it darker in the corners. And towards the bottom. Oops. What? I bent the page. And then you just kind of, so I'm trying to look under the phone while I do this. This is so, I'm going to get a video camera. Silly me did my, I was going to get a video camera for, um, cause my video camera like totally broke. Uh, I don't know if it like broke, broke or what happened, but like I put batteries, it was like a digital camera slash camera camera. And Every time I put batteries in it, it would like literally instantly drain the batteries. So I don't know if that's like a, like a problem with that camera. Um, cause it certainly wasn't the batteries. Like I've tried like the batteries for the electronics too, and it didn't work. I gave up. So I'm getting oh, see easily fixable. And then I'll just take, see this right here. So now that's too light there. Cause I had to fix this side cause I got like white on it. So I'll go back over it with um, some of the um, Argyle mud. Sorry if my hand keeps going out of frame and I'm not getting, I'm trying to follow my hand. It's a little hard. Okay. Okay. So here how it's, it's too light. Like see how that's darker? And that's, you can't really see the contrast too well. So what you want to do, sorry open up another paint bottle with my teeth. 
on Kai. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. <laughs> if there's any dentists watching, I'm sorry I'm ruining my teeth. Okay. That's a lot. That, that's too much paint. So I want to get it kind of for this darker color. You want to use the cover. And then here, I'm going to fix this side while I'm at it. And you're going to go back over this with more yellow. More of that like buttercupy yellow. Because I definitely didn't use enough on this side. This is really, I don't know how you guys vlog. This is like, hey, it's blurring. Hello. Focus. That's weird. It's not focusing. Am I doing something wrong? Huh. It does not. Is that like focusing? There we go. Okay. All right. So see how the side's a little more yellowy? So we need more yellow. And don't be afraid to get a lot on your brush. It's okay. Yeah, see? I definitely didn't get enough yellow last time. And then you can really mix the argali in with it. Yeah, it just needs more yellow. So, but you can use um, any, like, colors you want. It doesn't have to be these exact shades you just have to be careful of muddying things up so now look really close make sure there are no words showing through like right here there's words showing through i want to cover those you, you tap on if you rub you can rub the um, paint off because it's in a tacky state Get it more yellowy. Oh, I don't want that to fall. That would have not been good. So, but it's supposed to mimic parchment paper, so it's not gonna be perfect, anyways. Okay. I keep 
sorry. I, as soon as I look, it's like my arm like follows the, the, the way I look. It's like when you first learn to drive. Like, I follow the steering wheel. Okay, let's make it this out of the way. So, so this is going to dry basically like this. And then, no, it's okay. The page is curled. That's common. It happens. But like with the other side over here, and this is, these are starting to dry. So it's okay to just put them over together for a second. Um, so this side is a finished side. Now this, these I haven't. Now see how the words can come through? I haven't done these ones yet. And I wrote on them and I shouldn't have. Uh, but these, these ones are done. They look like parchment. So, and you can use any shades of white, yellow, and brown. Uh, you just want to make sure you have a lightest, a medium, and a dark. Uh, and you can combinate the shades any way you want. Let's see, they're sticking together. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, no. Oops. That was my hand. Totally fixable. Anything is fixable. Look at that. Fixed. I'll never know. Well, no one will ever know but you. So this side's almost dry. But so this side's almost dry. But see how it's curling? So when I do the other side, it's gonna curl back straight and that won't be an issue. Like see how this side is now all curl is is straight and not uh, not curling anymore. It's curling a little bit this way, but not like it's not curling like this. See how that's curling? Because it's wet. The side is just not doing it that way. And that's because I had done that side. And you want to do them relatively together. So when this is dry, almost dry, I'll do this side. So as long as, like, both sides are mostly done, you're all set. And it makes the papers a little flimsy. I mean, this is, is a glossier paper. Um, just make sure that, um, you know... Um, these pages you're going to be scrapping on, not writing directly on. So I'm going to burn like little pieces of paper, like squares and glue it on. And that's going to have my spell work on it or my ritual work on it. Things like that. Pieces of things. Um, some of them I will write on, but one side should have a picture and then the other side spell work. Um, it's a big enough book that you can do that. Um, you just want to make sure that, um, you're not writing front and back because if, if you are, um, it's going to be too flimsy, too thin. So one side, so picture writing. So that way you've got some stability to each page. Um, so um, there's writing on this side and then this side has a picture. So it makes that page in general stable. There'll be writing on this side and a picture on this side, which will make this stable in general. Um, so that's what you want to do basically. Um, so, and then I'll just show you the cover real quick. Um, I took some map paper from the Lord of the Rings um, Atlas book. Um, I had two of them. One got wet and some of the pages were molding. And then I just on the back um, used some decorative paper that looked like scales, which I got paint on today. I'm so upset about. So I'm going to have to, oop, um, I used some scales, which I got some paint on today. I'm really upset about. Um, not happy. I got the paint right there. It's my tarot book. Um, this is a great, since I got y'all on here, this is a great tarot book. Uh, easy tarot handbook. Um, this came with um, the gilded a gilded tarot deck. I love it. It's awesome. I recommend it. Um, go for it. This is really good. It's really explanatory. It tells you a lot. And I use this in my tarot certification class. Um, it's really good. It's a good, good look at it. This is really good. <laughs> so um alrighty um so hopefully you guys um enjoy the video and um good luck uh making or painting parchment paper or recycling um an old book into new and I'll do more pages like this um I'll do more stuff like this um and I'll show you like updated pages and things like that so as I update them once they're dry okay Oh, we're not focusing again. Bye. Blessed be.